Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the UREC Wrap Up. I'm Carly Swanson. And I'm Adam Luther. So Adam, tell me a little bit about how you're covering from this whole March Madness and more importantly, how was your bracket? Well, Carly, not going to lie, my bracket got messed up pretty bad. Thank you, Florida Gulf Coast. But yeah, I would like to congratulate Louisville on a great tournament. They definitely deserve the win. Good job, guys. And for those of you who still need a basketball fix, you can um, catch some competitive basketball right here at Carmichael Gymnasium on April 12th through the 14th. The National Basketball Championships at NC State are back for another great year of championship basketball. And this year it is in association with NURSA and its National Campus Championship Series. Don't miss three great days of basketball April 12th through the 14th right here at Carmichael Gymnasium. If you can't make it to the tournament, you can get hourly scores, game recaps, photos, and more in the tournament blog at nccs.campusrec.com. You can also follow tournament action on Twitter using hashtag NCCSBB. Carly, I'm extremely looking forward to this weekend. I'm so excited to be able to help out, but do you think they'll be able to let me show off some of my basketball skills? Oh, I don't know about all that, but why don't you tell them, you know, how um, our intramural sports teams actually showed some competition. Yeah, I can do that. The men's all-campus champion this year was Kings of Diamonds, and the women's all-campus champion was Venomous Vixens. The men's and women's all-campus champs will represent NC State in the National Basketball Championships. Also worth mentioning are the Corec A champions, Freak Show, the fraternity champs, Delta Sigma Phi, sorority champs, Pi Beta Phi, men's B champs, if you scared, go to church, and the Corec B champs were Jelly Balls. On behalf of University Recreation, we would like to congratulate all of those teams. And it'll be exciting to see who comes out on top this weekend. Also coming in top notch are the men's club volleyball team, who this past weekend in Dallas, Texas, actually placed in the gold division at the NCVF National Volleyball Championships. A special shout out goes to Kyle Peck, Addison Musser, and Kevin Rodolfo, who received first team All-American honors. Brendan Kozlowski received second team honors, and Travis Morton and Ben Steele had honorable mention honors at the NCVF Men's Volleyball Championships. Congrats guys, and with me today I have one of our first team All-Americans, Kyle Peck. Now Kyle, tell me a little bit about this tournament. Uh, basically the NCVF hosts about 300 uh, men's and women's club teams. How it works is they do pool play uh, Thursday and Friday, and um, then we'll have a single elimination tournament on Saturday. And uh, it was kind of ironic because the first round uh, on Saturday we played Carolina, and all the, all the way in Dallas, Texas. And, uh, and then we went on to uh, beat Colorado and Nebraska and uh, ended up losing to Miami in the finals. Um, but I mean, we had a blast and I couldn't be happier with second place. Well, congratulations on the Thank honors. You. And you. is this your last tournament of the season? Yeah, basically we conclude every year pretty much with nationals. Um, I think that's pretty much, I'm, I'm sure that's how just about every club does it. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations again Thank on a great so season and we can't wait to see you guys play again in the fall. Thank you. Speaking of accomplishments, the women's club soccer team actually just took a victory last weekend in Clemson at the Clemson Spring Shindig Tournament. Congratulations ladies, and with an 8-2 season, they will be traveling to UNC next weekend for their last tournament. Well, it was definitely beautiful weather for a victory last weekend, that's for sure. It was, and I don't know about you, Adam, but I went from winter, skipped over spring fever, and went straight into summer with this hot weather. Oh, me too, Carly. Speaking of hot weather, what better way to spend your summer than working here with me at UREC? University Recreation is hiring now, and students wishing to join the University Recreation team must attend a recruitment session. There will be four sessions offered on each recruitment date. Interested students only need to attend one of the 30-minute sessions to be eligible to submit an application. These sessions will be held Monday, April 15th from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Play Zone, as well as Tuesday, April 16th from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Play Zone as well. University Recreation is looking for lifeguards, competitive sports supervisors, facility assistants, outdoor adventures educators and rental assistants, as well as event assistants, bike mechanics, and equipment room monitors. 
And that's all we have for this week's episode. Make sure and follow all of the basketball tournament action on the website as well as on Twitter. And also be sure to check our website regularly for any summer hiring updates. And we'll, we'll see, see you on the course. course.